Brush up on your dental care with today's professional featuring Lima Dental Associates, where you'll always receive state-of-the-art technology with state-of-the-heart care. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's professional. Today, well, we're going to talk about Dr. Wesley Shanklin and Lima, New Bremen, and Spencerville Dental Associates. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, George. How are you today? I'm finally getting that down just right. <laughs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> it's a lot. What do you want to talk about today? Well, let's talk about diabetes. Now, you might say, why would a dentist, why would a dental office talk about diabetes? But yeah. diabetes affects the entire body, George, not just the fingers or the, or the uh, pancreas. It, it affects the entire body. And uh, diabetes can cause some oral manifestations and some problems. Uh, for example, there is a direct relationship we now know between diabetes and periodontal disease, gum disease. Mm -hmm. And it's been shown through numerous studies that if one has periodontal disease, they have a tendency to develop diabetes quicker than one who does not. Oh. And if they have periodontal disease and they have diabetes, if they clear the periodontal disease up, there's a great chance that the diabetes will improve, not be cured, but improve. And the converse is true. If you have bad diabetes, generally you have periodontal disease. And if you correct the periodontal disease, again, it'll help the diabetes. So diabetics need to let their dental uh, people know what they're taking and if they have diabetes because they tend to form periodontal disease faster. Mm -hmm. And so they have to be more meticulous about their oral hygiene of brushing and flossing. Uh, they also need to eat properly and eat well and make sure they brush at least twice a day because it, it can affect the entire body, not just the mouth. Right. Diabetics also develop other kinds of infections, uh, viral and bacterial infections in the mouth, much easier than somebody who does that. I was going to say, I know they mentioned here uh, gum disease, fungus disease. Fungal disease, uh, oral, oral candidiasis, uh, a, a fungus disease. You know, uh, a disease like that you develop a lot quicker with diabetes. Yeah. The worst thing, just like other kinds of surgery, George, is surgery in the mouth. If you have diabetes, you have a greater tendency not to heal well or heal slower. And that's important because the mouth is dark, it's moist, mm -hmm. and it's just the environment for bacteria just to take off and proliferate. So if you have diabetes, there's not great blood supply to the area we operate, just like on the leg. That's why so many people lose their toes. And Ooh. the same in the mouth. So you need to meticulously take care of your mouth, eat properly, brush twice a day at least, floss, see your dental hygienist and or your dentist, mm -hmm. and look for mouth sores, those kind of problems, and take great care of your mouth. You have a real problem of losing your teeth and your gum tissue as well. So it's very serious if you have diabetes, we're concerned. Very serious, especially if you have to have surgery, oral surgery. Thanks very much. Thank That's you, George.